So now that we have our PBX appliance ready, uh, we're going to go and log into it and configure the network interface ports. And to do that, we're going to go to the web interface, which is going to be at HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash. And in my case, uh, my PBX appliance is at 192.168.1. 20.10 and I'm going to hit enter and we're going to get this uh, certificate error. It, it's just stating that it's a self-signed cert so there's no need to be concerned. This will look different depending on which browser you're using. Just click continue and we can continue along. Uh, we're at the home page. What we want to do is go to this network tab up top here. So go ahead and click on network. It's going to ask us to log in like it has before and we'll enter in the uh, username and password that you have set. And so now we're at this network configuration screen. Uh, the external interface up top here, it says it's ETH0. That's the interface that we're currently using to be connected to the network. And what we want to do is set this to be a static IP address so that we can set up the port forwarding for it. So to do that, we're going to uh, take this dropdown and set it to a static IP. Once we do that, it will give us the ability to come in here and set this static IP address in this field. So in my case, um, I'm going to set it to 192.168.120.5. And that's gonna be my static IP. The net mask will be 255.255.255.0. And then my gateway is 192.168.120.1. Now, you also want to add uh, a DNS record here. Uh, you could set it to be your gateway, or uh, what I typically do is set it to a Google DNS server, which is 8.8.8. .8 .8. And now that I'm all done with that, um, I can actually save these settings by clicking on this Save Settings button. I'm not going to do that right now just because uh, I'm not setting this up uh, currently. But that's how you're going to go in and configure your static IP address for your PBX appliance and, and your client's PBX appliances. Uh, after you do this, it, it will require doing a full reboot on the system for that setting to take effect.